how much time do we have? <laughs> um, I would say the community aspect has been the biggest part for me because I was living in Key West, Florida, and there was no hospice services at the time. And I just come from being a hospice nurse. And so I was in an island, for those of you who don't know. So I was the only doula there, and there were no other services, which was fine and dandy. And then I came here, and there's like, you throw a stone and you hit a death doula here and there. <laughs> So, I mean, community, though, has been the biggest transformative part for me of doing this work. I could never go back to doing it the, the same way I was in Key West, because you do experience so much connection and belonging and meaning in ways that you don't when you're alone. And so I would say, I was um, thinking recently about there was a study done in the 60s on this Italian-American community in Rosetto, Pennsylvania. Do you know about this? Anyone? Um, it, this Italian-American community where you know big extended families, multi-generational, all lived under one roof, and um, they had the lowest rates of heart disease in the country. And so they studied, you know, is it smoking, is it diet, is it exercise, is it the environment? None of, there's no correlation at all, other than the fact that they had community, and they had relation, and they had ritual with each other, um, and connection. And then during the 70s, when the Western individualistic society kicked in, and they all moved out, and went to college, and went to the big city to pursue their dreams and lived in single family homes instead, those, um, the heart disease rates increased to the national average. So they recognized that it was truly based in that connection and community. So I've been thinking about that a lot recently because that's what I've experienced in being here, is deep healing and trust and um, meaning. It's transformed my whole life, it's transformed my nervous system. Um, yeah. I just know, you know, no matter what we're going through, no matter our attachments or aversions or traumas, whatever it is that's up, we still have each other's back. And I know I'll be held, and I know that I can hold others in this way. And I think that's very rare today. I think that's something we're very hungry for.